Hi, Texas. It's me, Heat. <laughs> Mom, pizza, power, make up! Hi, everyone. So I'm going to be sewing a 1930s jumper pattern from Wearing History, and it's my first time attempting anything from a historical pattern other than like my mother's 80s patterns that I kind of manipulated to make some cosplay way back when. I say that like I'm crazy old, but like five years ago, I guess. Is that way back when? I don't even know. So <laughs> I'm gonna be uh, making an attempt. I'm gonna do a mock-up first, and I know that I made it quite a bit bigger than what I actually am measurement-wise. Well, okay, like maybe one size up. Um, only for the fact that I've never made anything from a historical pattern before and I can always size down when I recut the pattern, but adding to the pattern, especially since you print it and it's like on grid and you tape it all together, I'm not about that life. So I'd rather cut it bigger initially and then have to size it down. So I made it a little bit bigger. So we're going to see um, what what it looks like, and I'm going to start off with a mock-up, which I hate doing. It's like against my better nature, but my better nature also says, girl, you need to do that. Here is the jumper that I'm going to be making. I'm not going to do the blouse because I have blouses that are close enough, and I really just want the jumper. So I'm going to make this. It is a late 1930s sewing pattern from Wearing History. I'm really, really excited about it. Very important to make a mock-up. Yeah, I agree. I'm going to do it, even though I hate doing it. You suggested it, I will do it. So here's how it looks like. I'm not sure if I'm going to put the rickrack or the binding or the bias looking detail here. I think I bought some. I don't know. I'll see how it is. I really like how like the belt part is pretty structured and it just looks really nice. And I love pinafore looking jumper things. So um, I'm going to do it. I love the 1930s length that things were and because it's like a mid calf, but on me, since I'm five foot two, it always goes a little bit shorter, it's a little bit longer, I mean to say. So I'm really excited about it. And I don't know if I needed to lengthen or shorten anything. I don't want to even mess with that to start off with. Yeah, that's what I'm mock for. So I'm going to go ahead and just make it, see what happens. And um, yeah, we'll just try it. Yay. We have coffee. We have horrific paperweights of random things I just found. Does anyone have any good suggestions for paperweights? Because I need some. So here I had the mock-up that I made and I kind of finished it just as best as I really wanted to. I actually didn't sew the bottom piece. You see it's just kind of pinned together where it needs to be. So I finished it. I just need to take it in a little bit on the sides and then take it in a little bit on the shoulders. My shoulders were a little bit shorter than what uh, the pattern kind of called for. And then I think that's it. And then we're just gonna go from there. I didn't need to lengthen or shorten anything because meh, it looked fine. It, it'll be okay. I'll just fix it after I make everything and then try it all on. I use random stuff in my house to cut my fabric out and I thought I had messed up because I cut it too big. So I just placed it on top of the bigger piece I cut and I was good. Here you ease the shoulders in in order to, I don't know what easing does, but you do it. And you can make a choice about how you finish the seams. And so you can serge them or you can fold them over or you can hand stitch them down. And the big question is how much time do I want to spend doing this? And do I want to get the serger out? Here, I just went ahead and folded it over and machine stitched it. Still quick, still easy, still looks nice. Call that done. For all the seams, that's what it's going to look like. So everywhere I sew it, I'm going to do that. This is the front of the pinafore where the buttons are going to be and where it buttons together and you blind stitch it in. And I was actually pretty proud of the work that I did because you can barely see the stitching. Ah, progress. And now for bias tape making with my handy dandy bias tape making tool. Bias tape acquired and attached to 
the edges of the top. My top is completed. I'm so proud of it. Don't mind the mess of pattern and fabric in the back and basting thread. It's, it's ugly back there, but it is done. I just got to make buttonholes. Practice buttonhole, very important. And now presenting buttonholes. I actually think this one is crooked, but too late. On the belt, I've attached the bias tape with the belt piece thing that's going to get attached to the top. And then the bottom of the belt piece thing is going to get attached to the skirt. And I thought you would fold it over, but no, you leave it kind of open. That way it catches on the top seam allowance and then on the bottom seam allowance. And I just love this bias thing. So I might attach it to the skirt too. It's gathered here to create like boob casing. Then it's sewn here. The seams are pressed down. And then now I'm going to top stitch right here. Well, oh, that's a string. I got that off. And to top stitch right there to hold those seams down. Most important part of every sewing video is to listen to somebody sew something. The skirt is all sewn together. I'm in the last steps of everything. I gotta attach the skirt to the top belt situation, hem the bottom, put bias tape on the bottom, and then of course the side placket, and then I'm done. <laughs> Texas, it's me, heat. <laughs> I think if I wasn't wearing this long of a shirt and maybe if the wind was blowing a little bit more, I wouldn't feel like hot death. <laughs> but my dress looks good. So if you look at me from afar and don't see the beating sweat, you'll be like, wow, she's put together. And then you talk to me and you're like, she ain't put together no more. So, but that's okay. <laughs> So I love this pinafore dress jumper thing. It is, it's basically my favorite thing that I own in my wardrobe right now. I say that probably about everything that I put on, but I really do like it. I got the shirt from Target and it was just fit, it just put it all together. And so I'm really excited about it. I ran into a lot of problems. Does it zip? No. Do I have to stick it over my head? Yes. But does that work? 100%. So that'll be fine. I was gonna talk more, but whew, oh lordy lordy, it is hot. So I'm gonna go ahead and say goodbye. Thanks so much for watching, and I hope that you liked it. I'll work on it, the format, and kind of figure it out, but I love to sew, and so if I could just have the ability to like sew something and show it, that would be absolutely wonderful. And we found this really nice area where we can film, and that also makes it really nice. So thanks so much. I'm gonna go and dab my sweat off. Have a good day. Um, guys, is this cell or like perfect cell? Is it time? Should I meet my husband, Trunks?